couple of um, mysterious gifters have been up to. It's a bit of a whodunit story for you next. For weeks, somebody has been leaving anonymous gifts for people in the community of Bethel on Prince Edward Island. It's brought a lot of smiles to the people who live there, but conundrum, who do you thank? Brian Higgins unravels the mystery. The roadside handcrafts started showing up mid-March, right from the start of pandemic restrictions. First the stars, then the streamers, simple signs of encouragement and hope. The icing on the cake arrived on Mother's Day. Bethel resident Terry Bell wrote it all down in her journal. Wayne heard the doorbell, but by the time he got there, he found a small Mother's Day cake and no one there. We really appreciate these little gifts we have been getting. For weeks, nobody knew who was spreading the goodwill, or if they did, they weren't telling. And I ran out to see who it was. All I could catch was their tail lights. All I know, it was a blue van of some kind of vehicle. Based on the available evidence, CBC News launched an investigation into the identities of the mystery do-gooders. That investigation took, oh, about 12 minutes. The trail led to this house, a vehicle out back, a shrubbery wearing a face mask, and in plain sight, two crafty teens caught in the act, 13-year-old twins, JJ and Ella Tremblay. We plead guilty. <laughs> yes, very. Because we like our, to see the pleasure on our neighbors' faces. The teens had some help. They used tools in Papa's wood shop, nanny supervised painting, but it's hard to keep secrets in a place like Bethel. It's all in the open now. They would be standing out uh, at their door yelling, thank you. It feels very good to be appreciative and we love loving our neighbors very much. Brian Higgins, CBC News, Bethel. I got a big smile, I love it. There you go, let me sit to look great. Well, the official graduation ceremony was canceled for those grade six students, but they're still going to have a snapshot of a very special day thanks to this photo shoot. These are uh, staff members from Montreal's Talmud Torah Elementary School, and they organized a special photo shoot to mark their students' achievements. They staggered appointments, lots of strict physical distancing rules, but they're going to put together a special yearbook that staff will hand deliver to each student's home. Ah, uh, the cap throwing, the diploma, it's all part of it as well. As the reopening continues, well, here's one novel way of ensuring physical distancing. Bumper tables, seriously, as in bumper cars. A restaurant in Maryland has been uh, rolling out this new dining concept. The tables are attached to large inner tubes on wheels and their size ensures that customers stay two meters away from other patrons and staff at all times. The owners are hoping their new look meals on wheels <laughs> will help them bounce back from the pandemic. We'll see if the idea catches on.